Let's use our reference to make some cutouts for sketching with silhouettes. We'll use a few sheets of construction paper, a pale colored pencil, an X-Acto knife, cutting mat, some paper cement, and reference images. You can substitute different tools if you need to. First, center a 5 by 7 inch rectangle in your 9 by 12 inch sketchbook. 5 from 9 is 4, and half of that is 2, so I'll make a line 2 inches in from the long edge of the paper on either side. Seven from 12 is five, half of that is two and a half inches from the short edge of your sketchbook. And that completes the border. Double check the measurements to be sure it's the right size and then set it aside for later. Begin sketching. I'm using a white pencil on black paper, but anything you can see well will work fine. Use your reference to draw out simple silhouettes that separate the different parts of your creature. For Cerberus, that means dog heads and bodies and snake tails. Keep the scale in mind as you sketch. You want to fit everything into that 5 by 7 inch window if you can. After you sketch everything out, you'll use an X-Acto knife to cut out your designs. Just flip them over to get rid of the sketch lines. Be careful not to cut yourself. Let the knife do the work, cut away from your body, and be aware of where you're placing your fingers at all times. Don't force anything. If you feel like you're fighting with the blade, it's time to stop and replace it. You're more likely to injure yourself with a dull blade than with a sharp one, because with a dull blade, you end up trying to force the tool to do what it's supposed to do. Now that all the shapes have been cut out, it's time to start arranging them to look like our legendary creature. Isn't it cool that even slight changes in the position or angle can dramatically transform your creature?
Of course, you can cut out additional parts to shape your creature as needed. There's no right or wrong way to do this. I recommend keeping a digital camera on hand to snap a picture of any designs that you like along the way. Once you settle on a design you like, it's time to glue it down. To form a permanent bond with paper cement, you'll need to apply it to both surfaces and let it dry before pressing the pieces together. Remember to apply the glue to the back side of the cutout. It will look wet and shiny when it comes out of the can and matte when it's ready to form a bond. Keep your sketch nearby, and don't forget which piece is which. The bond from this technique is mostly permanent. When you've got everything in the right place, use your rubber cement pickup to remove any excess paper cement. There you go, an absolutely terrifying legendary creature.